Hey again, so uh, I thought I'd make another video now. It's a day later than I was sort of hoping to do it, but I'm going to try and do one every Monday, I guess. Uh, I guess I don't really know what I'm going to do with these videos yet. If it's just going to be like a personal vlog, or, or if I'm actually going to upload this to some sort of social media. But I just want to let you know how I'm getting on. Uh, this has been probably the best decision I made. Uh, I was I was really stressed last time I made a video. I was in the airport. I was a little unsure as to what was going to happen. But I made the decision I made, as I mentioned. Um, you know, it's still hard. It's still like looking back, people get hurt when you make decisions like that. But I think I made sort of peace with that by coming, moving forward. So by coming here to South America and just being on my own, being able to do my own thing, plan my own trips, it's been a really helpful experience. Um, I've been in Medellin a little bit longer than I thought I was going to. Uh, this hostel is absolutely amazing that I'm staying at. Uh, I'll, I don't know if I can reverse the camera, so I'll just spin the phone around. But I'm able to cook for myself. Um, there's the kitchen. Lovely views over there. All around. So the name of this hostel is the Sugarcane Hostel. It's run by a German guy called Gunther. A super friendly guy, really helpful. He's helped me sort out my trip, basically, uh, where I'm going to be going next. Um, I'm doing Colombia in a little bit of an awkward way. I wasn't originally going to go to the north, but now I am. So Medellin now. I'll be leaving here Saturday, which will mean I've stayed here for 12 nights. Uh, there's a national park at the top there called Teirona. Um, unfortunately it's closed until the start of March so I have to go other places before to try and pad out the time but I'm going to uh, Salento, uh, where am I going after that, Cali, Bogota where I'll spend eight nights with a friend that I made in Mexico. Um, then I'll be going up to Cartagena across to Santa Marta and then hopefully I can go to Teirona on the 1st and then fly to Pasto on the 2nd of March and then bus across to Ecuador. So, got a few things planned. Uh, the biggest thing I'm looking forward to in about six to seven weeks time is the Galapagos. Made the decision to do that. Figure there'll be no other time in my life where it'll be cheaper for me to go, because regardless of where I am in the world, I have to pay for the flight to get to Ecuador first. So if you add that price on top of the flight to the islands, it works out to be a lot more money. And that money I can use now on day trips while I'm there. Um, but I'm going to end this trip in Bolivia now, I've decided. Go to Peru, then Bolivia. Uh, I think I'm going to stop in the States just for a few days and then back to the UK. But I reckon that will probably be around May now, not, not April, like I originally thought. But it's okay, it's my birthday in May, the weather's generally good there, so it'll be summer to summer, hopefully. But yeah, I just want to let you all know, feeling a lot better about things, a lot more positive, feel like anything's possible right now. Um, and I will keep you posted next week, let you know how it goes. Alright, bye!